United States, make a jaw. So now the holidays are coming up and Christmas is just around the corner. So I thought it would be fun to teach you guys how to make your very own paper origami Santa. So I'm using orange and white origami paper, but you can use red because all my other Santas are red and I thought I would use this orange for a change. And this is a really fun and easy origami to do. I'm sure anybody can do this at home, especially in this quarantine. It's super fun to do. And a little secret is so that this is actually not real origami paper. I just took two normal papers that were the same size. One was white and one was orange. And then I glued them together and voila, you have your origami paper. So this is a little hack you can use. It's really easy to do and hardly takes any time. So yeah, let's get started. So with the white side face up, you wanna fold your paper in half. And now you want to fold it down. And as you notice, my paper is square. But there's no like size recommendations or size limits. I'm just using a normal paper. I don't even know what size it is. So now you want to take this tip and meet it to this tip. But a downside about this like homemade origami paper thing is that it might get a little tough to deal with. But I would say it's much better than going through the pain of coloring it with Sharpies and it messing up and getting frustrated and whatnot. So I'm just making it nice and perfect. And feel free to pause if I'm going too fast. Now you want to flip it over to the colored side. And also this colored paper thing, it helps you with like different shading the side. So now you want to take the bottom and fold it up to this middle crease. Now you want to take, open it up and take this part and fold it to the middle crease. Okay, so now we have four quarters. Well, we already did, but we have these four quarters. So we're gonna take this side and fold it to the middle. It should look like this. And now there's a crease here. Now that you just did that, there's a crease when you open it up. So now to this crease, you want to fold this tip. And now there's another crease. So you're going to take this and fold it to this part. This is the last one, these little triangles that we're going to make. So now it should look like this, very small. And now you want to take this part and fold it to the same crease so that it looks like this. Now, there, because there's a crease here, it's going to be easy, and you're just going to fold it like that again. Now you want to flip it to the white side, and this is a little tricky, so if you want, you should fold this fold again. And you want to take these parts, these, these two, and you're going to press it in so this is going to be challenging but yeah it's a little harder with a large paper so I recommend using a smaller, a little bit smaller paper. So now it should look like this. 
So again, what I did was so I'll open it up. I took these two, these two creases, and I folded them in just like that. And now you want to take this tip and fold it all the way up to the tippy top. Wait, let me fix something. Okay, yeah. He's already starting to look like a Santa a little, but he's going to look like a Santa even more when we are finished. So now you want to take this top and fold it down, really, really down, almost to the bottom, because this is going to be his beard. And no, this is not going to be his beard, but now we're going to take this, and then we're going to fold it to the tip of the white part of his hat. Just like that. And now you want to fold it down all the way like that. It's starting to look really la a lot like a Santa. Now you're going to flip him over. And now you're going to take these two corners and fold them to the top middle like this. like that. Now I'm getting really obsessed with origamis nowadays. Such a fun hobby to do in this quarantine. And now, for one of the finals, final steps, you're going to take this part and you're going to fold it like that. So the tip is like that. And as you can see, there's a little part sticking out. You still want that to come as well. And then you'd want to do the same exact thing with the other side. And you want to be sure to fold it to the middle. Because if it's not to the middle, then your Santa is going to look kind of crooked. Like, when I'm making an origami, like, at the back, there's usually, like, folds and stuff. So it's really fun to, like, in the middle of the tutorial, just flip over and peek and see, ooh, how does it look? <laughs> and now you kind of just want to make this part kind of pointy. We'll do that at the end. And now you just want to take this part and fold it up like that. Now you want to flip it, and he looks like a Santa. So now I'm going to actually make his hat pointy. It takes me a while to do this nice and sharp, because if your Santa's hat is flat, it's going to look weird. So here we are. And he really looks like a Santa. I really like how he looks. So here I have this box of markers. So I'm going to take a thick black Sharpie to make his eyes. And I'm also going to make some buttons going down. This is the most fun part. And now I'm going to take a thin red Sharpie, a fine point one. And I'm going to make his big red nose. And I'm specifically using a fine point Sharpie because I don't want, like, his nose to look kind of weird and crooked. So, just like that. And now, I'm going to take a pink highlighter and then just make some cute little cheeks for him. I feel like this is necessary because he's probably going to be cold on Christmas night in the North 
as the North Pole. And now I'm going to find a black pen. And then I'm just going to make some little hands. And there we go. So this was a really fun tutorial for me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.